Hey guys, Ben from RB Reptiles doing another video. Wanted to show you some things with skinks. We want to show you what our setup is and kind of what we do with them. There's a bunch of different ways to, to keep skinks. So we're just going to show you what works for us. We've been doing them for a little while and yeah. So here we go. We're using, if you guys can see our rack here, we're using a big metal rack here from ARS. And there's different brands for racks and stuff, but these give us the dimensions that we really want. And also allows us to be able to see in with the glass. And they're about a three foot by three foot surface area, which is what we want. Either that big or bigger if you can especially for northerns or bigger skinks. And we'll show you kind of the setup right now. What we like to do is have a good thick bedding. And we're using pro cocoa or any coconut fiber. You can see here how it's uh, big chunks. The coconut fiber helps to keep things uh, more humid and it also is not really dusty for us so the animals seem to like it a lot they like to burrow underneath of here and make sure it's nice and thick for them and also we like to have a feeding bowl and we need some food in there too so well these aren't food yet these are empty deli cups it makes it easier for when you're trying to fill things so let's get some food And we'll pour in some water. <laughs> and we'll pour in some water. Jeez. Just like that. <laughs> so the food, what we use as a regular, and we leave this in there all the time, is we'll do a, a cat food. And it has, um, make sure that there's no grain. So we do a grain free. We try to do something ex expensive really, but it doesn't have to be, to be honest. Um, organic, things like that are good. Uh, but we also started thinking about the bone meal that should be in there. So we make sure that we get things that uh, are grain free, but you know, still have a little bit of bone meal or something like that in there because that's added calcium. That, and then we also add vitamins and uh, calcium with D3. And I like to shake it up, kind of gets a little coating on some of them, so they get that there. And that's what we leave in there all the time. And then, all right, now we'll need a skink. So we'll put in a one of our skinks, and they love it. Um, this is an our melanistic eastern, and she's great. And of course, she loves. Going into now, so you can see how big these are. She can kind of run. All right, come back. So, but this is also our setup for northerns. Sometimes we do it with northerns. Like, whoa, <laughs> this little guy going so fast, trying to run away. Come here. I don't know why you're trying to hide. I know this is a demonstration, you're supposed to be for videos. Come on, man. Come back. When we want to do a special treat, we turn to something like this. So we'll do a wet dog food or cat food or something like that. Something that has you know, good protein. Their diet should be mostly protein. Um, you can do fruit things like that sometimes just as a treat but we also do roaches and see if we can get this little guy to come out and grab a roach they usually love them we kind of woke him up he was sleeping a little bit Arm. don't <laughs> he went off camera eat it Arm, nom, nom.
And when you're doing breeding like we do, when you get a female that is gravid or pregnant, call it gravid, um, it's not good for them to be on the bedding when they're about to lay. So we'll show you what we put them on. We put them on something like this. So you can see we have a bunch of paper in here. We use a craft paper, just simple brown. And we still have layers on here. You can see there's multiple layers so that she can still burrow through. And we have our food dish in here. And one of the reasons that we do this is because when the female is ready to lay, when the babies come out, the first thing they want to do is eat their egg yolk. And when they are eating that sack, they will sometimes they'll stick to the bedding. And you don't want your baby skinks to have bedding as their first meal. So let's see if we can find our little girl. She should be pretty big. Ready to lay. We're hoping any day. If our math is correct, it'll be by the end of the, by the end of the month here. Oh, she is really ready. Um, I want to be very gentle with her. But you can see how chubby she is here. You can see how chubby she is here and oh, her hips are real big right here. She's ready to go any day now. So I'm not going to mess with her. I'm going to cover her back up. Beautiful female. So that's pretty much our setup. And also you guys, there's a lot of discussion out there about what to do with the UVB or vitamins. And it's really good if they can get the UVB from sunlight, but if you can't do that, that's okay. They seem to be just happy and fine if you're using vitamins and calcium. You wanna make sure that they get a multivitamin in their food at all times. When they're younger, they don't need as much or they, when they consume it, they get a higher concentration of it compared to when they're bigger, they need to eat more because of their size. So keep that in mind when you're giving them vitamins and giving them calcium. Make sure that their calcium has D3 in it so that they can absorb the calcium. So hopefully you guys liked our video. Make sure you go back to two weeks ago, we have our giveaway for one of these skinks for our Eastern skink, not this one. Oh, this little guy. Yeah, this is the one we're giving away. He's a great animal, something you'll want to add to your collection, so make sure you go check us out in our other video for the giveaway. All right, guys, thank you for watching, and join us next week for another exciting video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to us, and also comment below in this video if there's something that you want to see that maybe we can bring to you. Have a great day. This is the dancing skink. Why is it looking like a question mark? <laughs> oh, red-green grumble. If we could only breed you